Hey guys, I'm back with another 20 minute motivator and it is a new month and that I am ready to put a new collection up on my desk um, for me, me for me to use for the next month or two. Uh, so I'm gonna bring you along and we're gonna take care of this in 20 minutes or so. It's my rack is empty, my uh, use it up bin or my representation bin is empty as well. I need to refill and get prepared for the month. So it's a great use of 20 minutes. It needs to be done and it's fun because I get to look at some goodies and go through supplies and and pick out products to use. So I hope you guys will grab a task of your own and join me in being productive for the next 20 minutes or so. So let's uh, jump right in. Let me set the timer here. Oh, for 20 minutes. And we're off. Okay. So, it just so happens that it is the month of April, which is my birthday month, by the way. <laughs> so it's a really good month. And I'm actually uh, using Hip Kit April 2020 Kit to put on my desk. So yay, the stars are aligning I think. I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling good mojo with this. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out and see what we have going on in here. I mean this is from 2020 guys so it's, I don't even remember what's in this kit. So we're gonna take this label off and this envelope has seen better days. I might have to say goodbye to it. It's all taped together. So let me put my label up here and let's actually bring my little container over too. All right. So I'm already seeing product I love. Oh, we've got Jen Hatfield. Oh, and I think I have one of these already. Let me check in my sticker book collection. Oh, it's a little different, but you know, we're gonna add it anyway, because again, she's one of those designers that generally speaking, most of her collections match, so let's add, because I don't think I have, yeah, that's the only one I have. Cool, I love it when that happens. All right. We've got some Heidi Swap Ephemera. Ooh, it's got some numbers in it, frames. That's awesome. And we've got these big fabric bows. Um, I don't know that I will ever use these <laughs> on, a, on a layout. Um, I think this is more for a project. I'm gonna put them in, because I may surprise myself, but at the moment, I can't picture myself using these. However, we're gonna give it a whirl, we're gonna put it in the container, and we're gonna try it out. So, I'm actually gonna start adding this stuff in already, because I got my container right here. So, we're gonna give it a try, guys. Never say never. I got my little enamel dots in there. Perfect, okay. Oh, we got some Jen Hatfield ephemera. And I have a lot of her ephemera that I need to grab and put it in my, put it in with this kit. So this is from Hey Hello. We're gonna add that in here too. So I, I have a whole Jen Hatfield bin that I need to use. So we've got some puffy stickers, Fifth, Fifth and Monaco. I think I have some of these already too. Let me check. You know guys, I just wanna pull it all out and use it if I can. They look very familiar, but maybe I, oh look at that, we need these. I had another pack of these and I didn't even know it. Those are going in here. Maybe not. Hmm. It looked very familiar, but let me check my other little sticker holder here just to make sure. Yep, 
Yep, look at that. It's amazing what you can remember what you own. But again, if you go through your product enough, like I, you know, uh, like I share with you guys on the 20 minute motivator and, you know, sorting and organizing and decluttering, if you go through your product enough, you're gonna remember what you have. So I'm adding both of these. Doesn't mean I'll use them both, but it's got some butterflies in here. So, you know, I love my butterflies. I always could use more than one pack. And the hearts. We could do something fun with those too. So we're gonna plop those in to this. I'm trying to get these in a... There we go. All right, what else we got? So these are some planner stickers by Heidi Swap. Different words and colors, so that's really fun. I've got a lot of embellishments in this one. Ooh. We got definitions. Oh, I love these. And then we've got some more stickers, tiny words, tiny phrases. I love the definition. Those will be fun to use. So we definitely want to make sure that those are in there. I might actually add those with my alphas just so I can see them. We have another pack of ephemera. Jen Hatfield, hey hello. Look at that sloth right there. <laughs> that is so adorable. I'm trying to figure out how to use that guy. So we're gonna have plenty of embellishments. So I think this is gonna be like an April May kit, guys. I can already feel it. There's, I have a lot of Jen Hatfield and that's okay, right? Let's use it. I haven't used it. Oh, there's another sloth. So this will be interesting to use though because I don't typically use characters like this. So it will be a good challenge for myself. Oh my gosh, that hedgehog is so cute. Adorable. This will be fun and challenging at the same time. Really cute collection though. And we've got some thickers, some really pretty Although glitter's not my thing typically, but it's like a nice sky blue, ice blue, and then some white alphas. Then we've got some phrases. And these are, they're called Flutter. Not sure if they go with the collection or not. Oh, sweet. I love these thickers. I, I really love them, so I'm so glad to have a second set. I have one that's already open, so let me go grab that. All right, so I wanna use these ones up first before I open up another pack, so I'll plop those in there too. And then Prima Crystal Dots. Again, this is not usually my style, but we'll see. We'll plop them in there and see if we'll get them used. All right. Just curled up a little bit. So let's look at these papers, shall we? Oh, beautiful. I love the rainbows. I've always been a fan of this one too. Paige Evans, Bloom Street, Hearts. Oh, I love this. Oh, I could see like doing some color blocking with this. And that would be a really good way to use up some of those funny little characters. So that's a good idea. You know, matching the colors up with these watercolor stripes. What a fun paper. Um, I got some really fun suns on the other side. Got a Jen Hatfield floral that's just begging to be fussy cut with a plaid on the back. And then this looks like it's a tile design. Ooh, I love this one though. This is Art Walk by Heidi, Heidi Swap. Then we've got this really pretty blue stripe. Oh, Art Walk by Heidi. Ooh, look at that. Fun mixed media background. I like that one. And we got a pink stripe and then some cut aparts. Heidi Swap storyline. Another stripe paper. Jen Hatfield cute floral and then we've got this love 
which is Paige Evans Bloom Street, but look at all of these cut apart words. Awesome. That's gonna be really fun to use. And then another art walk by Hetty Swap. Oh, and that, oh, interesting. I thought there was nothing on the back side, but it's actually a really faint, oh, super blurry. Sorry, the camera isn't focusing. But there's like, it looks like it's dirty almost. <laughs> it's hard to see with the light, but I, I thought it was blank, but it's not. It's got some mixed media on the back. It's just really like a light gray mixed media. All right, super fun. Love these. Okay, so in addition to these papers, we're gonna kinda, we're gonna make this a mega kit, I think, guys. So we're gonna plop these papers in the back here. And then I'm gonna get my Jen Hatfield folder out. So I'm gonna add some more of her stuff in here. All right, guys, well, I could have sworn I had a whole collection of Jen Hatfield, but I think I'm confusing it with one to new canoe. One canoe two, because I can't find it. Yeah, I think that's exact. I must have confused myself. And I did, I do have one Jen Hatfield paper, a couple of other paper pads, um, but they're more of a fall vibe, so it wouldn't go good with this collection. But since in April we are trying to work through paper pads, I'm gonna add this Patio Party little six by six to this um, kit here, and I'll add it to my little representation bucket to see what I can use out of this. And then here is the rest of my Jen Hatfield embellishments. So there's a lot of goodies in here that we'll have fun playing with too. So we are stocked up on die cuts and embellishments for sure for this kit. So what I did want to do is I have a bunch of papers and I literally, oh here we go. I do have a bunch of pattern papers that I just recently went through um, with you guys in another video. And there was some Jen Hatfields in there. Actually, let's pull these out because not only were there some Jen Hatfields, but there was also some other papers that I think would just work wonderfully with this collection. So let's pull those out. That will go nicely. That's a little too bold. Oh, but this one will work. Love that one. Got some green. Here's that donut paper, and I had the yellow on the back. You know, just adding a few extra will, it will be really great. I'm gonna add that one too. And we've got some neutrals. I love that floral. The houses. Perfect. Okay, I think that's good. So we're adding a few more papers. Like I said, we're gonna make this a mega kit, so let's add those in there. Let's 
Right. So there is that. So we've got our papers. We've got our embellishments. So now what we need to do is we need to fill out our representation bin. So this little bin is what I like to use to put stamps, dyes, Nuva drops, mixed media, all that coordinate with my collection. And I like to have it on my desk. It reminds me that I have those supplies. Um, and with them being on my desk, I'm more apt to use them. So let's start with some washi tape. Oh, and the 20 minutes is up already, guys. Holy moly. All right, if you're only committed to 20 minutes tonight, then you're free to go to do something um, fun rather than a productive task. But uh, maybe keep me on in the background and continue watching. Uh, for the, the rest of you, if you want to keep going, I'm going to finish this up and get this kit together. All right, so I've already seen some fun colors I want to use here. Um, we've got some gold, we've got fun teal, pink, got a couple of pinks. I don't like to overdo it, but I definitely like to give myself some variety. Again, if I look, if I need a different color, I mean, you guys, my washi is right behind me. So it's not like I can't turn around and grab some more. So this really just gives me a good lift off point, a good starting point. I'm going to put this in my embellishment bin. Um, but I can certainly go and grab some more or some different styles um, if I find I need something different and I don't have the color here but this is a good starting point again it's not about grabbing everything it's representation all right so got some roller date stamps here pull out my Heidi swap and let's see here what's this one say oh this is really fun Got the word rad on it. That's a winner in my book. <laughs> All right. I want one with like little. It's a Vicky Booten. Oh, it's got some little doodles and shapes and hearts. All right. So that's good too. All right. So we've got some roller date stamps. And we do have some enamel dots in the kit there, but. I would like to use ones that I already have open. So let's plop some of these open packs in here so we make sure to use them. And I'm just looking at the colors. That are in the collections. Yeah, that's a good start. And let's grab some tiny stamps that are, these are all fallen. I gotta put some, a barrier up there. All right, so we've got a tiny die cut heart and stamps here. It's kind of a Valentine style. I think I'm gonna skip on that one. I think more or less I'm in, interested in doing the, I think I want to do some words. Birthday, trick or treat, I should probably put that with Halloween. Another birthday, a bunny. All right, so nothing there. I'm going to get a, Oops. It may not. All right. He's my guy. True story, flourish, wild thing. Oh, let's see. This day. 
These are so fun. So these are from, I think, Citrus Twists, yes. So let's do, I like these three. So we're gonna add those three. Next up is, let's see if there's, I've got lots of die cuts, so I don't think I'm going to do any die shapes. So let's get some Nouveau drops here. Alright, so I've got some Lindy's spray here. I've got, I went with the neutral Nouveau drops. And then let's look and see what we have for some dimensional pieces. I had some leftover buttons and acrylic hearts. So I'm going to plop those in here. Again, a good reminder. Let's see, will those fit? No. And I think I'm going to grab some wood veneer, if I can find a little container. Alright, so let's toss some wood veneer in here. So I'd really love to try and use some of these colorful ones that I have. So I've had them for quite a while, so we'll plop those in there. Got a couple of frames. some smaller ones too so let's do actually let's do these ones Got a couple of round button style ones. These are made by my sister's company, Write Out Designs. I'll link that below in the comments. We'll toss those in there. Got some banners. I think these might have actually come from a Jen Hatfield collection, if I recall. It would be nice to use those ones up. What else we got? Oh, we've got this really big heart. Some really big banners. Let's see if we can use those guys up too. And we also have some like coordinating painted pieces that go with that heart. So let's toss those in. That would be fabulous if we find a... You're really neat. That's cute. <laughs> That'd be great if we could add those in. So let's add those two circles in as well. Perfect. All right. That is... Oh, look. We have... Hey, you and an ampersand that matches. So let's put those in there too. Sweet. I'd love to use some of those up. And so I think that's what I want to do for wood veneers. So let's see if we can 
fit this guy in here. Look at that. These little So the stamps in the front, we'll do enamel dots in the front too. And then we can get these roller date stamps in the back. Perfect. All right, and so there is our representation box, a little bit of everything in there. It's gonna remind us to use it. And there we have it. So let me just pull this in so you guys can see. We have put together the April slash probably May mega kit. Um, so I get to work from this um, on my desk as I play. And this will be separate from our um, paper pad challenge that we're doing as well for the month of April. But this is um, these are all elements that actually match my paper pad so I could use these as well. So win all the way around. So I hope you were productive tonight. I hope you enjoyed this 20 minute motivator and got something accomplished. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night. Bye.